Hey guys, Romo Drummer Vlogs here with another tutorial for you guys. And this tutorial is how to import your ScreenFlow videos into Final Cut Express to edit them and without rendering at all with unlimited effects and stuff. And yeah. So let's get going. So here's what we do. We go to down Final Cut Express. Open Final Cut Express. And then we go to Easy Setup. We put this to all format. We put the rate to 29.97. We put the use to HDV Apple Intermediate Codec 720 by 30. Okay. And then we close this. And now, let's say we're gonna get ready to record a screencast. We open ScreenFlow. And from there, I'll tell you what to do. Okay guys, so now we're, we've opened ScreenFlow. And as you see, it, it, this, this is the, the recording I just recorded. So here's what we do. You go to down Final Cut Express. Open Final Cut Express. Okay, whatever. So let's say we just recorded this right here. This screencast right here. Let's say we record it and we want to export it and import it into Final Cut Express. Okay, so we go to File, Export, Web, High, Best Quality. And then we go to Settings. Customize and then settings, Apple Intermediate Codec, HDV, 720, and the size, keep it to compressor native, uh, the interlace source video, and the sound setting is linear PCM, 48,000, leave the sample size to 16, best. That stereo. Uh, okay. Okay, then we go to OK. And then we put the dimension scale by 100%. And then I'm going to rename this because I, ha I already have something else called ScreenFlow. So it doesn't override it. All right, so I'm gonna let this export and I'm gonna come back with this clip imported into Final Cut Express and to show you guys how to edit it and export it for YouTube in HD quality. Okay guys, so we just got done exporting right now. So what we're gonna do is we open Final Cut Express and wait for it to open and then we import the file screenflow123 put in the timeline and as we see say yes and as we see there is no red render bar and you can see the quality is good quality it's good quality, no render bar. See, and this tutorial is how to import your screen. No run, no um, rendering. So, I let's say we edit this out, I send my in and out points, whatever. Export, you don't want to use QuickTime conversion. You want to export as QuickTime moving, save it as whatever. See now, it saves that long because the file is short. My in and out points are short. It just depends on your video, how long your video is and 
that's how long it's gonna save. Okay guys, so as we can see here, we already exported the video from Final Cut Express. And what we wanna do is right click, open with compressor. All right guys, click the annotation to see how to compress the file with compressor. Thanks for watching.